Well, thanks, Mike, so much for that conversation. You know, eclipses have meant many things to many people throughout the years, and there's also a lot of myths surrounding eclipses. And then going along with the myths, you know, of course, it's the U.S. We also have to have a lot of weird products to celebrate the eclipse on Monday. So let's bring in Ken Haddad from ClickOnDetroit.com. Hey, Ken, um, you know, I wanted to come with you and talk about some of the myths out there because, I mean, through the ages, eclipses have been really scary for people. Yeah, well, I mean, just imagine, like, you're just hanging out. You have no idea it's coming, right? It's not like we had uh, they had astronomical <laughs> calendars, you know, in the year 70, you know, 1000 BC. So the sun would just disappear in the middle of your day. That's kind of terrifying. I kind of agree. Yeah. All right. So go through. What are some of the myths that we see there that um, eclipses are going to, what, poison our food? That is not true. Yeah, this appears to be some really popular thing on the Internet that NASA keeps debunking. I feel bad that they have to keep debunking this, but the thought is that there's radiation coming down from the sun during an eclipse that's poisoning your food. But wouldn't that also like poison all the crops and plants and everything that we have? Uh, so I don't think yep. that works out. So there's no radiation coming down. <laughs> poisoning your food you can, you can eat and if you get food poisoning that's your own fault I mean that's just something that you put not not in a cooler all right um, so number two about eclipses that they're a harbinger of bad things to come yeah this is uh, just a human thing really it's confirmation bias right like when something bad happens we look for meaning <laughs> and yeah. there have been like a few instances in the in human civilization where something bad has happened during an eclipse and we just ignore that everyone else had a totally normal experience, right? So right. we attach it to the, to the eclipse. Nothing bad is you know, t actually tied to eclipses. Um, it's more of a just bad timing, wrong place, wrong time thing for some right. people. And it's funny, I mean, if you look at a lot of horoscopes and things, um, the eclipse is just, it's transformation. Yeah. You know, it could, be, it could be changed and that could be either good or bad. All right, um, and then I think the myth that these are just amazing events that rarely happen, that eclipses, yeah. it's very rare, and that's really not true. No, they happen every year in different parts of the world, and we just happen to be you know, in the path of this one. And really what it actually means is that the universe uh, kind of runs out like clockwork. And I don't know about you, Christy, but that's kind of comforting. But it is comforting, the knowing that something is just kind of ticking along. And I think what's also really cool, Ken, is this is going to be a communal experience. And there are very few live events that we experience all together. I can only think of like, the Super Bowl. I mean, there used to be so many live things that we were all watching at the same time. Yeah. But now with streaming and so many different ways that we can get information, the, the fact that there will be millions of us experiences at the same time is pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. It's kind of like the Friends finale. Yeah. It's pretty much the same. Now you're totally dating <laughs> us right now. Um, all right, but let's go ahead and talk about, of course, all the weird stuff that's coming out for the eclipse on Monday. And of course, it has to do with food. If you're if you're like a food brand, you've got to have a special eclipse thing. What's like the I biggest guess. thing you're seeing? <laughs> I guess you have to, right? This I is mean, America. We're, we're it's capitalism, baby. We we exactly. can't have an event without making money off the it. The marketing guys are working <laughs> overtime. Yeah. So these these are sun chips. Um, they're releasing these limited edition chips which are pineapple haban habanero and black bean gouda and that's one that's a flavor hard pass. that's, that's a hard one pass. flavor by the way um, only available during the eclipse by the way so they've set up a website where you can buy them it's only going to be open for that four minute four and a half minute window um, i don't know how many bags of chips they could possibly sell but i mean I, you know shoot your shot sun chips why not <laughs> I mean, they're like someone's gonna buy it yeah. um hey oreo and krispy kreme we love it when you get together and this is what they've come up with. I got to say like this one actually makes a little sense, right? Cuz mm -hmm. just like the coloring and like the the, the, yeah, the visual shape. of it is kind of cool. It's probably like 500 calories, but like who's counting calories <laughs> I, during Why are you doing clips, that to right? me? Yeah. Don't tell me. I just want to see this. Yeah, this this is going to be available starting tomorrow through Monday, so you don't have to wait for the eclipse for this one. You can grab this in the morning. Um Sonic is coming out with a cool looking drink. Yeah, they're calling this the Blackout slush Slushy. <laughs> um, I could, for the life of me, could not find a flavor profile for this. So <laughs> if you are willing to risk whatever an eclipse tastes like, uh, head to Sonic. Do you think it's a grape, maybe? I have no idea. Or... It's got to be chocolate or something, right? Oh. They, all, all it said was sprinkles. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that could be anything. Marketing genius. Yeah. All right. Uh, also speaking of genius, Ken Haddad, click on Detroit.com. Really appreciate it. All Eclipse, all the time, my friend. Yes. We'll be talking to you about it. All right. Thanks so much. All right. Let's get you uh, up, uh, up to date on some more headlines here especially in southeast Michigan. Oh, of course, I'm sorry, I wanted to let you know um, we're going to have, of course, 
coverage of the solar eclipse on Monday throughout the day as you see everybody there on the screen. So Ashley's going to be in Cleveland. I'm going to be in Toledo. Kim is going to be here. She's going to talk to the science. Brian Sherman is actually on that Delta flight from Texas to Detroit. Paula Tutman will be in Luna Pier. It's going to be a great day of programming. And just how you're watching us right now, the Daily Plus Live, just local 4 plus, click on Detroit.com. We're going to be streaming it all day for you. So you can stay in touch with it. If you are not in the zone of totality, we'll be there for you. We'll show you everything you'll experience it all with us.